Good everyone, welcome to this video. Today it's actually another series in the war bonds grinding and the daily tasks and obviously special tasks. And this time we feature my old workhorse of these sort of war bonds events and that is the PE3. Now, what am I grinding this time? Because obviously it is the April time. That's not it. Um, what am I grinding this time? Well, I'm actually going for the IAR-81C. Reason? I've always wanted to get it. Except I'm a cheapskate and I'm not paying for it. <laughs> I'll be brutally honest. But not only totally that, I have a close friend who is Romanian. And I'm sure as hell he'll be excited to see this on the channel. So, if you happen to watch this video, buddy, because I know for a fact you subscribed. Yeah, I'm getting this bad boy. I can't wait to get it. I've still got a lot of work to do for it. I've got another 11 special tasks to do, as well as, what, 38 more daily tasks, so another 19 days worth, which means we should get the vehicle on the 21st of April if we're good, if we manage to get everything done in time. Alternatively, I could potentially go for one of these, because I have none of these, but it's a random mix, and I, for all I could care, it, I could get the A13, which I already basically have. Same for the LVT A4, not really interested in that. The Heinkel 51 B2 I would get, and the T26E sucks. But yes, for the most part, I'm going to go for the IAR. So what has my old workhorse been up to? Well, she's been helping me grind the, um, well, my first special task. This is the plane I got it done. And while well, the PE3 has held a, well, held, I should say, a close bond with me for some time. Ever since I spaded it back in the day, I used this thing as a high-speed bomber. Now, I know that sounds a bit daft because it's a heavy fighter, but this thing was mostly used as a heavy fighter slash um, assault bomber after the, um, the plane itself was deemed inadequate for its heavy fighter role. I still get fighter kills out of it. I do get one with a tail gunner out of this game. Spoiler alert. <laughs> but um, the PE-3 is one of the most versatile aircraft that I've flown in a game. And it's rank 3 battle rating 2.7. The worst plane you'll see on the, or the allied side. Well, on any side actually. Used to be the BF-109 F-4. However, now that is well, 4.0. You don't have to worry about that. The worst aircraft you could probably see, and we'll take a quick gander, just to take a look, is a P-38G, which would be dangerous. High tier Corsairs, but you can deal with Corsairs. Um, that's Germany, so a BF-110 G2, yeah, you're going to struggle to kill that, just to point out. British side, you'll have Fireflies and Spitfires, you will struggle to kill Spitfires and things like that. Um, Japanese, Key 61s Ki-100s. Italy, you'll have the SM-79s, C-202s, and things like that. But for the most part, this plane is just a oh god. I absolutely adore it. And, well, you can see here, 103 air kills, 58 deaths. Most of those are to AA fire. Just to point out, I use this thing as ground for, well, in ground forces. Just thought I'd make that clear. And nearly 600, well, I'm one short of 600 ground targets destroyed. Which, it doesn't beat the IL-10-1946 with uh, almost 900. But, this bird will definitely get up there. So let's go briefly over the plane. And it's, well, it's actual history because I've never gone over the PE-3. Now the PE-3 was selected as the heavy fighter slash night fire due to it being easily available. The Russians wanted a long range night interceptor which could be easily modified off an aircraft from the production line. That being the P2, which we already have in game, and well we've got the early P2 such as the P2-1, the 31 and the 83, and then you get the two high tier Peskas, which is the 110 and the 359. There is an additional premium which I think is the 205 if I remember rightly, and that's what this plane was based on. So you get PE2 levels of performance. What about guns? 
Well, in a P3 early, you get two, I think you get two 50 cals and a 30 cal. Yes, you do, 300 rounds, so you get more 50 cal ammunition in this plane, but you lose the 7.62. Personally, I'd love to slap the 7.62 in anyway, but I don't think there's enough room in the nose. You also get two 7.62 machine guns in the rear. And I know what you're thinking, where's the second one? Well, there's one, commanded by Ivan. But the second one is in the tail cone. If you've flown the SM-92, you have the exact same guidance in terms of horizontal and vertical. But this gun fires a hell of a lot quicker, and it is like a flamethrower. If anyone gets on your tail, either Ivan's going to deal with it, or this is going to deal with it. It doesn't do the damage per se, but it will set the targets on fire adequately. Armor plating wise, you get 45mm of bulletproof glass here. The P3 Biz does get an additional couple of plates in the nose section. You get a bit of armor protecting the pilot, bit of armor protecting the navigator stroke rear gunner. Armament wise, you get two 50 caliber machine guns with 250 rounds apiece. And you can also go for a bit of secondary options if you choose to do so. Two 100 kilogram bombs, which are mounted center line under the wings, well, not under the wings, I should say, they're more mounted just under the central fuel tank. Well, you'll, I'll point it out when we go over the armament that I use most commonly. Four 100s, which is two in the exact same place as the 250s, and two in the engine nacelles. You'll see them shortly in a replay, because I do use them. My favorite loadout, which is the two 250s and the two 100s. You can also access six RS-132 rockets and six RS-RBS, sorry, or as I call it, Russian bias 132. <laughs> You'll see why. I mean, look, 85 millimeters of pen, and this rocket packs a serious punch if it penetrates its target. As for recommended upgrade path, personally, I went radiator, offensive 12, DZ-40, compressor, engine, engine ejection, turret, wings repair, and then clean up. So let's jump into the battle, and that's what I meant by the central line. It's just on any of the wing fuel tanks on the cooling system. One thing to note is that this plane is very vulnerable to coolant damage. So, let's jump into it, shall we? Forgot to mention before I began, um, we do run into Figio again. He's in his IL-4. He doesn't do much. He just... For a start, he flew away from the battlefield. I have no idea why. I think he was just climbing to get some altitude, and to be honest, I don't blame him. But yes, expect to see the IAR-81C on the 21st of April. Obviously, I'll let you guys know I've got it, and then we'll take it out on the first flight live. That's what I want to plan. I can't wait to try it in Ground Force, because it's got a 250 in the central line, and also two rockets, or even bombs, if I choose to take that. So there you can see Figio, he has began a left-hand bank. Now it appears his IL-4 is stuck, so if you're spayed in that buddy, good luck to you. But now we're going to skip ahead a little bit, because this first few minutes of the battle is relatively uneventful. You'll see an A-36 down by the right-hand side, I do attempt to go for him, but... There's a beast of an IL-2 pilot, and I believe it was Angelino who gets him. Yes, it is. Um, Angelino is an absolute god in his IL-2. So is Milovan. They've both got balls of steel. They actually do more work than our fighters do, which I find hilarious. There goes Milovan taking him out. The sad thing is about the PE-3 and the PE-2 series is that their flight models got nerfed. These things used to turn like fat zeros. But, not anymore nowadays, but... When you need a rank 3 workhorse for your um, special task and your daily tasks, this bird is your, well, should be one of your top priorities. And my god, does she clean up. She's got two central line bombs, two in the engine nacelles, which I will point out shortly. Um, 250 caliber machine guns, so she can do some decent offensive work. Potential for rockets as well for air-to-air -air work. And well, 
Yeah, the only thing I would say is you don't get the dive brakes from the PE2, which is a shame. Not that you need them. This thing is very good in terms of controllability. Up to around 370 miles an hour. Another thing to note is um, your stall speed. If you get this thing below about 110 miles an hour, you are going to stall like a bitch. This thing does not like stalling. Now here, I prioritize the anti-aircraft guns because we all know what AA is like nowadays. There's your second one. And there's your third. Your 50 cals have a very high rate of fire, so do that, bear that in mind, I should say. Don't worry, Ivan gets to do a bit of cleanup and all. Now it looks like the um, the gunner isn't actually engaging it. It is. It's just a replay. It's it's always been like that. But um, the digital time traveler took one of my replays a while back when I um I think that was when I got the Chinu too, and I was using this plane to grind the war bombs as well. There's a B-34. You'll see an XF-5F, which is the Skyrocket. There goes my 250s. I nearly hit that tree there, but there goes that light pillbox. I see the XF-5F, so I thought, right, well, he's got 20s, I think. In fact, no, he's got 50 cals and 30 cals, don't he? Because um, the XP-50 has the 20 mils. Either way, don't want to go head up with it. And here comes Angelino, who is going to say, um, come towards me. He is going to take the XF5F on. He's a fucking legend. Angelino, shout out to you, buddy, because you're a legend. <laughs> Personally, I'd have done it as well in my IL-2, just because it's fun. So I just put in chat, IL-2s, I need your badassery. And I was going to make a quote from Borderlands 2, but I was afraid that people wouldn't get it, so I point that out in the chat. And he just puts Bliatis here. But look, here he comes in his IL-2 1942, and he just comes screaming in for a head-on with the XF-5F. The XF-5F is so desperate to kill my P3 for some reason, I have no idea why. But Ivan sets him afire. You can see what I mean by flamethrowers from this machine gun. The Shakas machine gun is just insane. Now for some reason the XF5F deems the IL-2 the, the insufficient threat and Fiji finally spots me in chat after nearly seven and a half, well nearly eight minutes in the battle. <laughs> Took you long enough pal. But... And there goes the XF5F, he actually burnt out and there's the engine nacelles that I've just opened up. That is where the two 100 kilogram bombs are stored. Ivan decides to clean up that artillery piece for me. Thank you, buddy. And well, we're just gonna do some cleanup until we run out of ammunition and bombs. But yeah, if you're doing a ground strike run in this plane, prioritize the AA guns. They will fuck up your coolant system. I dropped both bombs there. And there's another pillbox kill. I'm gonna turn it back over to the battles so then you can actually see how much we clean up in our first run. We do have to do three runs this game because um, well this match drags on for quite some time so I'm gonna skip out the boring bits for you guys because I blab it on a bit too much in the intro as I usually do. <laughs> I just The problem is with me is that I don't use scripts and I just blabber on, blabber on and everything like that. Ivan's going to do some good work and destroy that artillery piece there. This is one of my best fighter crews, so that explains the, the overall pilot resistance to G-forces and everything. But if you guys have not flown this plane, I highly suggest it. She's a great plane. Now for some reason... Um, oh yes, I'm actually out of 50 cal ammunition at this point. And I think I even get someone. I can't quite remember. But at this point, I believe we're going to return to base shortly. Yes, we are returning to base in a moment. 
I did put in chat, it feels nice to be back in my old workhorse again because this plane has served me so well. The PE3 didn't have a great service history in real life, which is a shame, it was a great plane. But... Oh, it was a great plane on paper, it's just it didn't do very well in real life. But... Yeah, I did, I did enjoy Spade in the thing back in the day. Which explains the Berlin Express on the wings, I forgot to mention that, that has always been there. Um, I put that on when I was spading it because of its high speed and bomb capabilities. I would literally rush in on the Korea map, my Korea was my favourite map for that reason, when spading this thing. Because you could just scream in, dive in, drop your bombs and get up before the ally fighters could get to you. Now this Spitfire comes for a crack at us, I roll a plane left and then I bank hard left. These are Xbox players and they have no skill. That guy's actually a level 5 in that Spitfire 2A. It's his first flight in it as well. I have no idea why you'd bring that in. But, hey ho. I'll let the team know that the turret or the front guns are dry, but I do have the turrets in case we need them. But now this Spitfire is going to harass me. He's not going to let me land. And if I'd have landed. He just strafed me out because it's a Spitfire play. They need the kills, apparently. I mean, again, he's spading it and all that, but... <sighs> my next daily task is... Uh, well, my special task, I should say, is um, 34 tank kills in a heavy tank in Tank Arcade, which I'm using the IS-1 for that, as well as the KV-85 and KV-2. Most because A, I love the IS-1, B, I love the, the KV-85, and C, why not the KV-2? <laughs> why not? If I somehow die in the IS and the KV-85 in the same game, I will bring out the KV-2 and just nuke it. Better if it's got a crap reload, but even so... At this point, we are actually going to begin the landing phase of the battle. I was just sorted out my headphone then, so I do apologize if you can hear any movement. But um, me and this IL-2 have a very close shave, so does the Spitfire. But I flew right in the gap, so then we didn't have to worry about that. Angelino manages to put his plane down. And the only, or one of the few Xbox players on our team, Olive Cardinal, 13, is going to come in and help me. This Spitfire does score a couple of hits, but his gun convergence is like 400 meters. And, well, he's he's not doing anything good in terms of damage. I'm hitting him, but obviously the 7.62 Shakas loses quite a bit of range, or penetration, I should say, at this range. The Spitfire displays a remarkable lack of situational awareness. The LA-5 smacks one into him and scores a crit. And, well... It's just... <laughs> that Spitfire's gonna die. No question about that. But, and there he goes. Thank you to Olive Cardinal. But yes, the P3 has always been my workhorse for... War Bond special task, just because it does so well. Anything I need it to do, it can do. Obviously, specific, like, um, get ground targets from attackers, I use IL-2s for that. Specifically the IL-2M1943, because I prefer that one. Bombing bases, I tend to use the, um, what do I use for base bomb? I tend to use the DO217, the E4, because it's got a 20mm in the front and a 20mm operated by the gunner. Alternatively, I do use the... what else do I use? I know for a fact I use the MB-162 sometimes, but it's very rare. In terms of tanks, um, if it's a heavy tank mission, I use the KB-1 or the Jumbo. If it's a medium tank mission, I tend to use Shermans and things like that. And if it's a light tank, I use the Chaffee or the a AMX-13 FL-11. Okay, now we're going to skip ahead again, because well, we're going to be not doing anything for a couple of minutes until we go back to the ground forces. Okay, and we're back. 
And we're going to do some more cleanup, aren't we? Now these AA guns, or these AA trucks, I just, I don't give a shit. I'm going to drop the 250s on them. These trucks are extremely overpowered for what they are. And I just killed all five of them with that bomb drop. I let the team know I can see a dot. There is actually, that is the B-34. The A-20 is somewhere around here. And apologies about that, that is my Snapchat. <laughs> I probably want a few lads of my age who use Snapchat for normal communication purposes. I don't know if I do use like Snapchat to message friends and things like that. But I also have my cu a couple of my cousins on there, so... Yeah. <laughs> and um, Ridgeway up there in his P-39, he's going to be a nice help. But um, we're going to do some ground target work again. As per usual, because that's what the plane... Well, that's what I mainly use the plane for. For this special task, I had to come first place in... Or, sorry, first place or second place in the team. I came first after this battle. Now it would appear that there is a replay bug. It shows that there's no bombs in the the engine nacelles. There is bombs in the engine nacelles. Gaijin's just dumb with their replays. But um, the raw rate of the P3 is actually pretty good. The yaw rate is okay because of the twin rudders, but she's a bit of a big girl. She's a She's like, um, she was like a friend of mine, well no, in fact no, actually, someone I used to hate, I don't know why I said friend of mine, none of my friends are fat, in my eyes anyway, um, a girl who I used to hate, um, at my secondary school, she really didn't like me for some reason. I have no idea why. I was harmless. I never did anything to piss anyone off. And here comes another pillbox kill, courtesy of the 100 kilogram. And boom. I swear the Russian bombs are like dropping mini nukes, but hey ho. Um, and well, she never liked me for some reason, and well, this thing dances like that. It's... She was a crap dancer at the prom because I witnessed it and it was like watching my dad dance and uh, trust me you don't want to see a dad dance in your life but um, yeah let's just say she never liked me her dancing was crap and well even I dance better and I don't fucking dance I mean I'd rather sit in my P3 and fly it all day every day than dance But in this, in this battle, I did actually have music on, and I was just... I do normally sing away, but... This is at about 8 o'clock at night, so... Family was in, so I am not singing. Because last time my sister caught me singing, and it was embarrassing. <laughs> the thing is with my Spotify playlist is that it's very... It's very mixed, and it's got... Well, it's not nothing racist or anything like that. Nothing explicit in terms of language and things like that. It's just I have a lot of interest in music. But when it comes to flying my aircraft, I have a set playlist and... Oh, I love flying my music. Or flying my planes to this music. Tanks has the same playlist because I can't be asked. At this point, I believe I'm returning to the airfield again. Yes, I am. So let's skip ahead. Because it's quite a... It's not really a long trip back, but 16 times speed makes it a lot shorter. And our final contribution to this match is going to be a couple or five more vehicles, as well as a couple of more, well, a couple of more ground targets. But um, the B-39 pilot Ridgeway is actually going to offer me the chance to take out the B-34. I don't bother with it. Um, I did drop the 250s there on that pillbox, which you saw. It also damaged a AA gun that was near there. Didn't kill it, unfortunately. But I said to the P-39, he's yours, take him. I don't give a toss. I'm here to strike ground targets. And with over 5k, nearly 6k score, this was a great run for P-3. And the B-34's just gone down, so... 
We're going to do some quick cleanup just to try and get as much as we can. I do actually drop the bombs on these two vehicles here just to get as much points as I can. And there we go. That is the end of it. So that was a great battle for the P3. Um, expect to see more war bonds grinding and all that like I did last time I did war bonds. Or war bonds, I should say. Why I say war binds. Um, Figio, again, shout out to you, mate. <laughs> We've been seeing far too much lately of each other. <laughs> Ever since I started doing this YouTube channel, I've seen like five times. I have flown a couple of flights for Fligio. We do need to get some more flights in, buddy. It would be great. But, um, Fligio just mainly bomb bases this game. Hopefully, mate, you spaded this plane. I do like the IL-4, but not as much as the DB-3. So would I recommend flying the P3? Yes, I bloody would. You've seen it in action here. It does everything I want it to do. It's just such a great plane. I highly suggest flying it. But anyway, I'm going to let you guys off. Hope you enjoyed today's Warbond video. Um, hopefully, um, after this Warbond's grinding is all done, we can get some, maybe subscriber flyouts. We'll have to see. But obviously we have to wait until we're past 100 subs for that. And we are currently at, if you just give me a second, we're at 84. So we're doing pretty well so far. Obviously, by the time this video comes out, it may increase or it may decrease, depending on if people leave the channel or not. But 84, we're only 16 away from the Discord server and the um, squadron. Which I'm planning. Anyway, I'm going to let you guys off. And I hope you enjoyed today's video. And I will catch you all on the next one.